Facebook for your business just recently, you're going to see that the posts that you see on there are not. Hey, my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here, and today we're going to talk about what not to do on Facebook, on social media, to uh, build your business online to grow your audience to get sales, right? What do you? What should you not be doing that you're probably doing right now that is best to avoid? We'll talk about that in just a second, but first this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right. What is it that you should not be doing? Obviously, we're going to talk about what you should be doing, but let's uh, talk about what you should not be doing on Facebook to get more sales and prospects. Before we get into that, though, I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at cis463.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and there will be a blog post as well that you can read uh, if that's what you prefer. All right, so let's get right to it and let's just uh, talk, share my screen here and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what should you not be doing on Facebook, right? I mean, before we get into exactly what not to do, let's talk about what leaders tell us to do and let's talk about what uh, what we usually do in terms of what that means to us or what we interpret it as or what we think it is or even what leaders actually tell us to do, right? So leaders will tell you to grow your audience, right? They're going to tell you to post regularly. They're going to tell you to engage on other people's posts. They're going to tell you to connect with others. They're going to tell you to have conversations with others. Those are, yeah, it makes total sense. That's exactly what you should be doing. And what happens is the actions that we actually take to do those things aren't necessarily the best things. And I'll explain to you why in a minute. But, you know, how do you how do we do it, right? Growing our audience. We, like, you know, get followers, we create Facebook pages, we get likes. Or we, nowadays, it's the digital um, creator profile where we just basically have followers that uh, are, we don't have friends, we have followers now, right, if we do that. So that's kind of what we do by to grow our audience, you know, which isn't the worst thing, but that's what we end up actually doing, right? We also post to post regularly. We just randomly share stuff. We'll just share things that we see or we'll, we'll put random comments based on how we're feeling that day or what's going on in our life. And then, you know, again, that's not the worst thing in the world, but we'll get into what what is better than that. And I'm not saying that's, like I said, I'm not saying that's not what you should be doing. I'm just saying there's a process involved. There's a way to do it. Okay, so we're also, to engage on other people's posts, we just go through the feed, right? We go through the feed, the Facebook feed. We just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and just comment and engage on those things, right? That's what we do. That's what leaders even teach you to do, right? Is that wrong? Uh, I don't know. We'll get into that as well. Uh, connecting with others we send friend requests that's one of the things leaders actually specifically tell you to do that right send five to ten friend requests a day right they just kind of say just do that and you know for some it works but there's a better way and I'll tell you what that is have conversations with others send private messages to people right you go through groups you go to your friends list you just send them a, a private message and you tell them about your stuff you tell them what you can do for them all those things right so those are the things that we end up doing as part of what leaders tell us to do and i'm just as guilty as anybody else i've done these things i've done these things um and you know it's 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 not awful it's not you know absolutely terrible but it doesn't give you the sales and the results that you're wanting does it right if you've been doing this you're like thinking to yourself well that's what they've been telling me I've been doing that do you have lots of sales do you have lots of 
you know, new prospects? Do you have lots of engagement? Do you have lots of people buying your stuff? Are they, are you having, you know, is that happening? Probably not, right? All right, so what is it that you should not be doing? You know, I'm, I'm kind of giving you this list here. I mean, okay, if I'm on Facebook, right? Let's just go to Facebook right here. I just posted that just now. But if I go to Facebook, right, and I'm just scrolling through the feed, I can engage on these posts. I can comment on these posts. That's what leaders kind of tell you to do, and some leaders specifically tell you to do that, right, to grow your audience, to get prospects, to get people to buy your stuff, right? How does that work? First of all, how does it work that engaging on stuff in the feed actually gives you results, right? So we have to go back to what is attraction marketing because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get people to be interested in your stuff, trying to get people to come to you, trying to get people to buy from you, right? You're trying to get them to 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 like you, to know you, to like, to, to know, like, and trust you. You're trying to get them to know, like, and trust you so that they buy from you, right? That's the definition of a successful prospect, if you will, a prospect, a fan, somebody who's, who's really, uh, you know, connected with you, who really likes you, who really likes, uh, about you and all that stuff. So if, if we look through like, like this feed here, let's just give an example here of somebody that's really one of my you know, one of a person that I'm a fan of, right, is uh, John and, and Nadia Melton, right? Melton, they're, they're they're like great leaders, and they actually teach social media marketing and how to use Facebook and things like that, right? So they are somebody that I like and I trust. I mean, if I was to, you know, want to buy something that they have to sell, I wouldn't have any trouble at all, you know, making that decision to do it, right? Um, and the reason is because I see them in my feed and I've had conversations with them and I see what they're about and what they do. So you need to do that too, right? You need to get to that point where people feel that way about you. So for them to buy from you, they have to know, like, and trust you. And that's part of the process. The attraction marketing process is all about <coughs> getting people to know, like, and trust you. And how do they do that is by them seeing your posts, seeing your content, seeing you, so that they get to know you, right? If they don't see you, they can't get to know you. And if they don't know you, they can't like you. And if they don't like you, they can't trust you, right? So it's basically a process, right? That has to happen. There's no other way. And it's the easiest way to do it, right? The easiest way to do it is just go through the feed and comment on stuff so that people see your stuff. So if you're posting, so if I'm posting regularly, like say, for example, this post that I just did, a couple hours ago an hour ago maybe what is it oh no actually 10 minutes I thought it was longer than that I don't have any comments on it yet right why is that well b because nobody's seen it you know and it's not because it's not because it's a stupid post and not because it's not a valuable you know kind of um engagement post and all that it's because nobody's seen it why has nobody seen it because Facebook has not shown it to anybody why has Facebook not shown it to anybody because it's only been 10 minutes but also because i haven't done my own uh engagement right uh, facebook is a reciprocal algorithm what does that mean is if you don't take action facebook will not reward you which means nobody will see your stuff <laughs> the only people would see your stuff is if they actually went on your uh, facebook profile to actually click it to actually look at your stuff right and that's one of the things so if i go back to this doc this thing i was talking about okay growing your audience so what does that mean well okay so let's just talk about um okay so let's talk about the actual process that we need to be doing right what is it that you should not be doing let's before we talk about what we should not be doing let's explain what we need to be doing and what i mean by what uh, what is it that you should not be doing right so well Actually, you're here because you want to know what not to do, right? Let's talk about what not to do. Okay, so do not do these things. Whoops. These things. So do not, so do not post randomly. So do not, do not post randomly without any plan. 
okay so don't post randomly without any plan so you got to have a plan of what you're trying to achieve with your post you got to know who your audience is right so instead let's just put that in here whoops instead instead whoops know your audience audience avatar right know your audience avatar and your goals for your posts whoops I think that's behind me right okay let's do that so do not do these things <coughs> do not post randomly without any plan so instead know your audience your avatar and your goals for your post so what does that do right that makes your content targeted towards your audience if you don't know who your audience is if you don't know who your avatar is by, by the way an avatar is your ideal client basically right so if you don't know who that is then you can't create content that they'll be interested in because you don't know what you know the no the somebody you don't know is interested in you need to know who it is so that you know what they're interested in and one of the things that is a struggle a lot of times is people are like well I don't know who I am my what they're interested in well you decide what they're interested in decide that they're you know they're they they have a one one year old baby decide that they so what would somebody with a one year old baby be interested in right be interested in learning about uh, you know um, things you can do to help your baby learn faster maybe or they're interested in learning about uh, a best the best way to prepare foods for their baby they're interested in knowing um what kind of animals are safe for babies right they're they're interested in that kind of stuff so obviously those things are specific to that exact avatar right so if the person that you're saying is your avatar is like a, a student that's in college or in university versus a retired person they'll have different interests so know those know who your audience is decide who your audience is decide what they're interested in decide what they're afraid of decide what they're looking for decide what their problems are decide all that stuff and then come up with a plan and goals for your post what are your goals for your post right are you trying to uh well no your goals when I talk about goals for your post I don't mean like you know obviously it's always the same you're trying to get new um, new prospects you're trying to get new sales right but what are the goals for your post is how many posts a week you're going to be posting how often you're going to do it what times a day maybe I mean you can get really really specific the more specific you get the better because you're going to be um, uh, you're going to be uh, consistent and you're going to persist over a long period of time because it takes a while for things to actually mesh together and happen right so that's the first thing you should not do next thing is do not uh, so what are we saying we do here post regularly okay do not post um again it's the same thing we're, we're talking about oh actually we have talked about growing the audience okay so do not simply grow whoops do not simply grow your followers don't just try to get followers try to get well we'll talk about friends in a second but don't just try to get followers right don't just try to get likes on your posts or things like that that's not going to really give you any kind of um result instead whoops instead grow an email list whoops an email list why do you want to grow an email list even though you might be thinking well emails are gone it's the, like the dinosaurs it's not true the thing about emails even though it's true that the open rate is very low and all that good stuff right the thing about emails is that they're forever at least unless that person decides to delete their email account but most people don't they keep their email address right they might decide not to subscribe from you because they're tired of see, receiving whatever you send them but your email list is yours what happens if tomorrow Facebook decides to shut down your account right what happens if Facebook goes under and I don't know if that's possible but you never know there could be legal things and whatever right what happens if they decide to block your account what happens if you know all these things they're not under your control whereas your email list is under your control you have the control of your email list right so instead grow an email list use something like I use I use Aweber 
right you can uh, you can use um I mean there's a ton of them right there's a ton of them uh I just use Aweber because I've been using it for a long time <clears throat> they have a free account that you can start uh let me know if you want the affiliate link I'll probably put it in the in the in the um blog post as well all right so what about the other thing that we're talking about posting regularly growing your audience engage on other people's posts right so do not whoops do not whoops I forgot to put do not here do not do not randomly engage on posts in the feed so why do I say that first in the beginning maybe it's okay to engage on the feed and the posts in the feed because you're just starting out you're trying to understand the platform how it works how engaging on other people's stuff is going to show make Facebook show your stuff right all these things are true but the problem with engaging randomly on Facebook feed is you're just feeding the algorithm and letting it show you stuff that it's just going to keep showing you the stuff that you engage on right so if you if you're just scrolling through the feed and you're just randomly engaging on the stuff that shows in, like in my case it's a little different because I've been using the strategy I'm about to explain to you uh, for a long time so there's most of the stuff I see in my feed is actually tied to that so that's actually would be okay for me to do that but if you're starting out if you've been on Facebook for like less than let or maybe you've been on Facebook for 10 years but you just started your business on Facebook if you're just using Facebook for your business just recently you're going to see that the posts that you see on there are not necessarily the posts that you should be that you would want to see right there might not be the posts that you want to see you're going to want to see stuff that is related to what your audience is interested in because the more stuff that you see that's related to what your audience is interested in the more likely it is that they're going to see your stuff right they're going to see your stuff and your stuff is what they uh <coughs> will relate to right because they're because you're engaging on certain things they're going to be engaging on those things too and it's kind of all connected like I said Facebook is reciprocal which means that what you do impacts what they do for you right so if I look back at this don't randomly engage on posting the feed well what do we do instead right instead <coughs> we choose the profiles we want to engage with <coughs> so what does that mean like say for example I'm scrolling through the feed now af after a long time I know who the profiles are that I'm that I want to engage with right if I look through this I scroll surely th through here I can see uh post here I remember okay so this is Aaron Aaron is a is a friend of mine I think she does great uh, she does great content so I will engage on her post right here and I'm going to comment on it I'm not going to do it right now but I will engage and same thing with Leah Ray Getz right here I mean I love the, her content uh, lots of these I Jenna Marie Stone is another one that does great stuff uh, so I will go through this and I will notice who it is that I know right and I will engage on the post and but you choose who you want to engage with how do you do that how do you choose who to engage with what you go to your friend list you go to groups where do you do that right so I mean um, there's a way to do it using like just Facebook you can choose pick and choose who you engage with like I said you can go by memory like I'm saying here if I go through here and I look at the post and who did it I can choose by memory who to engage with right whose post to engage with um but you know that's kind of that's kind of uh it takes a lot of work and or you have to have been on Facebook for a long time to actually get to that point right so in me I use software so I use software to choose who to engage with I've got this the list of people I just uh run this this software every night it picks up the people that are actually active in the groups that I'm interested in and I can then engage on their posts uh by clicking on their profile right if I just click on 
say Kim here and I just click on her name it'll take me to her profile directly I don't have to go through the feed I don't have to waste time on the feed trying to find her I can go straight to her profile and decide to engage on her post right so I'm gonna <coughs> I'm just gonna go like this and I'm gonna engage here and I'm just gonna say uh, this is uh, should be faster than this but I'm just gonna uh, like this let me say that's awesome and obviously I will I would normally take more time to do posts comments and things that's that are more um <clears throat> that are more relevant or whatever but I'm just gonna just engage on these and I'm gonna just uh, do this for now just to kind of show you what I do so I just comment and react to some of the posts I close the tab and then I go back here and I just say I commented on one post I reacted on three posts and I save it all right so that keeps track of of stuff for me it also lets me know how long ago I engage on their post right here uh lets me see you know different things um but this tool lets me decide who I want to engage with based on how many people how uh active they are and those those kinds of things right so that's that's one way is you choose the profiles that you want to engage with either like you do it manually yourself whatever or you get a software like like that um, what's the next thing so we do not do not right do not uh send friend requests all the time so now that's gonna get some um you know people saying no that's not right the thing is that you have a limit of friend requests on Facebook if you're sending friend requests all the time and you're not actually using that friend request list and you're not actually you know doing it doing what Facebook wants you to do by the way which is yeah sure Facebook wants you to send friend requests sure Facebook wants you to connect all that stuff <laughs> but the thing is that you're limited and over time it's not going to benefit you because like me I have over 4,000 friends but I'm not really using Facebook with the friends uh the way I should probably well I don't I actually don't really know because I stopped kind of caring about the friends stuff but I know for a fact that the more friends you have the less um there, there's some um what's the word there's some uh relationship with the number of friends to your posting to people seeing your stuff all that is all connected somehow Facebook's got these algorithms they keep changing them all the time but there's a reference to how many friends you have versus how many friends are active versus how many times you engage with their stuff all these things they're all connected so if you're sending friend requests all the time it, it, in the long term it won't benefit from you right so instead what do you do instead is <clears throat> find people in groups and um the in groups that are that are actually active right so instead what you want to do is you want to find the people in groups that are actually active so how do you do that you go to groups <laughs> if I go to groups here and I go to specific groups or I just go look at the feed right here actually I should go to specific groups let's go to say for example this weather stuff this is Kay's group let me see Google Ads so it's, uh, I guess this is Kyle Kyle who are, who this Kyle is virtual reality let's just see click funnels let's go to click funnels so click funnels group how do I know who's active in click funnels group right I look at this a person who posts in the group right these people are act, they're posting in the group so how do you know that these people are you know active or a lot or this is the first post they ever posted actually Facebook kind of tells you right top contributor would probably be somebody who's pretty active in the group right you can use these things right to identify them you can also just uh click on their name and that'll take you to their their group profile where you can see right here whether they've done lots of things it says right here that he had a post here another post here March 20th and that's it he's got two posts I don't know if that as all the posts he's ever this Jason guy has ever posted or not that's stuff I'm not always um we don't have direct access to all the data on Facebook um but again if you use active group users the software will tell you how many posts these people have like if I click on the Facebook comments link right here or uh the um the header 
it'll sort by the number of comments it's 44 30 13 11 6 5 so these are the people that are most active this person has got 36 uh 44 comments uh this person has 30 comments this person has 13 comments so that's the people that are most active so I, I would go and visit these people's profiles over the other ones that are not active like you know these ones only have two but even then the ones that have two let's go re in reverse the ones that have only one comment is either they're a brand new comment see these ones have zero some of them have zero comments one 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 so those are less active I would go less to those profiles right um <clears throat> And that's kind of how you can use this software as well right so that's that's the other thing the other thing too is that when you go to a group you get to their group profile you have to go here and go view main profile right to go to their actual page to see if they're even active on their page themselves right february 22nd april 26th so he's not super active right january 28th so like once a month he might post something so he's not a super active person and that's something that you can find out from from this tool as well you can actually go and see this so that's the secret that's one of the secrets is to actually find people in groups that are actually active all right so then num and then the last the next one is whoops <coughs> do not what's the other one do not have random send random pms to people all right so don't send random messages instead okay so when I say do not send random PMs uh, leaders will tell you to send private messages to people for people to get to know you right you go in here <laughs> and you're just gonna go like for example you could be in the group right let's go back to the group here and you know I could look at this this guy here I could send him a message I can say hey Augustine that's so cool I see you're in, in the click funnels group I uh, like connecting with like-minded people and so you could do that there that's um, you know I'm not recommending that for lots of reasons one of the reasons is lots of the group owners do not like people randomly sending messages to people now if you send a message to one or two persons that's probably not a big deal but most people that do this they will send like maybe five or ten messages every day all the people in the group and eventually somebody that receives a message is going to complain to the group member and they might block you from the group or that kind of stuff right so you want to avoid doing that <clears throat> what you want to do instead is you want to be engaging on that person's profile you know this uh Payesh sorry Payesh if I'm pronouncing that wrong but if I go to Payesh's profile and I engage on his posts he nobody's gonna see any the nobody's that's nothing is ever wrong with that right instead engage on persons on p on persons profile posts whoops profile posts for a while and then send them pm whoops okay for a while <coughs> let's do that on the next line just so that we see it okay <laughs> for a while then send them pm what's the difference right the difference is if you engage on somebody's posts on Facebook they're gonna love you they're gonna love you that's because that's why they're posting on Facebook they're posting on Facebook because they want people to see it they want people to comment on it they want people to like it they want people to ask questions on their posts if they're not posting on Facebook they're not looking for that but if they're posting on Facebook they're wanting engagement on their posts because they know well maybe not all of them know but lots of them also know that if there's engagement on their post Facebook is more likely to share it to more people so that it grows the engagement on it right so if you comment and engage on their posts they're gonna like that you commented and engaged on it and if they're you know in the know they're also going to appreciate that you're growing their engagement so that Facebook shares their stuff more <clears throat> so they know that stuff they're, they're, so they're going to love you so when you send them a message later on after doing that for a while they're going to be happy to hear from you they're not going to be like who's this random person messaging me right like I mean like I said if you go to a Facebook group here and you just send messages randomly to some of these people some of them will be like oh cool yeah because you know this is a click funnels group so if you're into click funnels you're also uh, you know they they connect with you there's um 
there's a, uh, a relation, a re you be, you're relatable to them, right? So they might connect with you, but they're still not going to be like, they don't know you. They're not going to love you or like you or anything, right? But if you're engaging on their stuff, if you're actually going to their profiles, to their pages, right, by just engaging on their posts, you can do it either by yourself going here and then clicking on their name and then going to their profile, right? Uh, I don't know if you can, can you do that here? No, no. Okay, so I can go to a, this profile here, then I can go to their profile over here in the main profile and I can actually engage on their posts, right? April 8th, April 8th, December 7th. So, so this person's also not very active on Facebook, even though they're active in the group or they post posted in the group doesn't mean they're active. So that's one of the things <coughs> with active group users, you can actually, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> oh my God, sorry. Uh, you can actually over time figure out that they're active or not. I use it to, I put notes here that uh, disconnect to, to know that they're not active. So I know not to go visit them again, right? But that's something you can do with this software. You can actually do that. You can actually f go and engage on their profile posts and then send them a PM after a while. Now, none of that's automated, by the way. It's not, an, this software is not an automation thing, but you can certainly get, get a free trial at active group users.com all right so you can get your free trial there to go and um try this out right so you just put groups in there you tell it what groups to use and there's also if you go to the about page you have a little video that explains you how to use the software and what is the um you know uh, best way to use it but you can do this you don't do these things do those things instead and follow along and do the right thing you'll see you'll get so many better results you get so many more people connecting with you or actually at least being interested or hearing out what you have to say and that's all it takes right you gotta have more people listening to your story and that's the secret that's how you get more sales that's how you get more prospects all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.